What's up? I'm Brian Gleason with MLC CAD Systems. Today, I'm going to talk about some of the enhancements in lathe and milturn. So our first kind of goal is to look at some of the improved tool importations, um, being able to save some of our favorite settings, uh, other toolpaths available inside of the MT environment, and some enhancements to uh, prime turning. So to start it off, I'm going to bring in some tooling. So we'll go to our lathe tool manager. And we have a new option inside of here for the import tool, import tool data from, and we can bring in a generic tool catalog or a GTC file. I already have one set up, so I'm going to go ahead and select it. We'll say the select all checkbox. Now we need to validate these tools and make sure everything looks good. Give that a sec while it processes those, tessellates all the shapes and pulls in the solids. Once we have it done validating, We'll go ahead and we can save it to a library or I'm just going to save it to this part file. Now we see we have our tools brought in and I'm going to start off with our TMAX. Make sure all the settings are good. It is going to be tool one. We'll edit the insert. And it will be left-handed general turning. I'm going to make it offset one. I'm going to skip down how is it mounted in the machine. It is going to be horizontally because it's a tool spindle style machine and this is how it loads. We'll go ahead, reverse that around. Go to our settings and we'll just set it off the tip. We'll get all these set up. Now I like to make sure that we have all of our tool clearances set. So what do we got on this first one? We'll set our angle. And we'll set the clearance. So there's one. We have that set. And I'm not going to worry about speeds and feeds on this. Next, we'll look at our first prime turning. Um, the holder, let's see, that was set. We're going to set that as tool two. We'll go modify our insert and I'm going to make this a right hand tool and make it offset to it's going to be horizontal clock uh, counterclockwise and we'll reverse that now I'll get my insert shape set go ahead and our set our angles and in clearance. Now, I know a lot, I see a lot of people don't do this, but I want to give Mastercam as much information as possible to know where all these are going to be set to, and that way when it does retracts and clearances, it knows everything about that tool. Now, we got one more tool to take care of. And we're going to tool one's fine. It doesn't look like my holder is located correctly, so we're going to edit that. So now we have our clearance set, or sorry, machine side connection set. We'll go update the tool. That is going to be a right hand tool. We'll make that one or offset one. Is going to be in the bottom turret, counterclockwise, and then we'll go quadrant four. Get all of our angles set. Now we'll get these clearance angles. End angle. And voila. Now we had all of our tools added, strained up. And uh, it was probably a little bit quicker and easier than setting up a bunch of uh, 3D tools, right?